Hello, I'm Kate and welcome along to this video. I hope you're okay. I'm sending lots of love to you. So welcome along to this Home Bargains haul. It's actually not just Home Bargains haul. I've been to B&M as well and I've got something from TK Maxx. So it's going to be another mixed haul. So I hope that's okay, which I'm sure it is. So I've got loads from Home Bargains and it's all around me. I've got um, all sorts really, some Easter treats, little Easter decor, toiletries, some food, and then just some other things. So loads actually all around me from Home Bargains. And then I'll show you everything that I got from B&M and TK Maxx as well. But yeah, I hope you've had a good week. I hope everything's okay with you. Before I get into my haul, I'm going to do my mug of the day. And it is this beautiful Kath Kidston mug that Ewan got me when we met up and we went to Southwold and we had such a lovely time. I love this mug, it is just so beautiful. So this is my mug of the day. I've got a water, so we'll have that in a bit. Right, shall I start off with, I've got the cute stuff here. Let me start off with this and then I'll, I'll get on to everything else. So starting off with the Home Bargains Easter stuff, I've got a really cute little basket here that I couldn't resist. I had to get it because it's just adorable. And it says on here, springtime bunny ears basket. And it's made out of this, like, is it seagrass? This kind of woven material, this wickery, wickery woven material. Um, yeah, it just says springtime on the back, decoration only. It's so cute. And it was $2.99 and it's a really nice size. So it's lovely if you wanted to put some, you know, make up a lovely little Easter gift. So cute. And in here, I've got a little card that I'm going to send my dad because we're off on our holidays. We're off to Thailand for a couple of weeks. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. So we're not going to be here over Easter. So I'm going to send my dad a little card and it's only 29p which is really good it just says sending you warm easter wishes and i'll see my dad i'm going to go and see him um middle of april I'll, well when we get back from thailand i've got a few days um down south so i'm going to go and see my dad then and spend some time with him i know people ask after him so he's doing really well um he's very happy so yeah i'll see him see him soon and i'll send him this card so that was a uh, yeah 29p so it was a bargain they had loads of lovely cards actually in home bargains um and just in case you were wondering rufus and bestie are going to be at home with our friends they're going to be looking after our house while we're away so they just get to be at home which is lovely and our, our friends will be here rufus the dog is currently having a snooze on the opposite couch in case you were wondering so they get to be at home and our friends are going to come look after the house and i've got to carry on cleaning after this um video and, and pack the rest of my stuff. Um, right, so everything else in here, I've got lots of little Easter treats. Because we're going away, I thought if I take like a chocolate egg, it'll probably smash. Um, so I've got a few things for Toby that we can take along. He's had quite a few Easter eggs from um, Lee's parents and, and his aunties. So he's had loads of Easter eggs already. So I just thought I'd take these with us and put them in a suitcase. So some cute little jelly beans, um, happy Easter jelly bean carrot. That was only 99p and I just thought it's quite a nice little thing, isn't it? And we can he can share these out with his friends because we're meeting friends over there. So 99p for the little jelly bean carrots. And I got him a little tin, a little Easter tin. And there's some chocolates in here, some little mini egg things. What are they called? Milk chocolate eggs. So they're really cute. This is £1.19 for this little tin. So they're just in there, which is really good, isn't it? Because it's just a cute little Easter tin. So a nice little gift. I also got um, our nieces a couple of these little tins as well. So I've given those away. Um, so they've got their Easter treat. So a little Easter tin for Toby. And then I got some little like coins because I thought, why not? I'll just chuck them in our suitcase um, for Easter. Looney Tunes chocolate coins. And I think they were 99p as well. So some little chocolate coins. I also got some little chocolate, what is this? Chocolate bunnies. So a little um, a little 70 gram bag of these little, oh, Easter. <laughs> Happy Easter milk chocolate bunnies. So they're always fine for Easter. Probably not the best chocolate you've ever tasted, but still quite cute takeaway. And the best chocolate ever, some mini eggs. Now, there, there might have been a few more packets of mini eggs and, and somehow they've disappeared. So I don't know how that happened, but they just, it's like it was magic. We did eat the other packets of mini eggs, but there's still one. There's still one left. So I'm going to put that in a suitcase, put it away so Toby can have that to Easter. And I think this is 149 or 125 or something. 80 grams of mini eggs. I do love those. They're really nice. And because we're going away with a couple of other kids, I thought I'd grab them all 
one of these little lollies because they're just so cute. Look at those little marshmallow stack lollies. And I'll just check how much they are. So we've got one for Toby, one for Freddie and one for Polly. The names of the kids we're, the kids that can be on our, on our little Easter holiday. And they were 79p each, which is just so cheap, isn't it? So 79p each for these little Easter lollies. They're so cute. Little marshmallowy, sugary lollies. So I shall... Um, I'll put these safely in my suitcase somewhere. I bought quite a bit of food actually from Home Bargains, but we've eaten it. So I bought some bananas and some other things, some cereal and some different things, but they've they've gone, we've eaten them. So um, the only things I've got left, apart from the Easter treats, to show you are the Belvita Minis, and I love these. Um, these are £1.25, so I think they used to be a pound, but they've gone up slightly. But they're really nice, you get six bags in each, and they're really handy as a little snack, or if you need some breakfast or something, if you're on the go, they're great. And I bought these as well, so these are Bliss Zero Brownie Rounds, and we had some peanut butter ones, but we've eaten them, we ate them last week. But these are £1.25 as well, and the, the um, peanut butter ones were really nice, so these are gonna be good. So just some little, um, some little cereal bar treats kind of thing, some little brownies. And I've got some, because we're going on holiday, obviously you need your sun cream. So I've got a few things here to show you. I got this uh, Nivea Kids Protect and Care. This was actually 7 99 which is quite a lot, I think, for sun cream, but it's really good, isn't it? This Nivea stuff, 50 plus. So me and Toby will be using this. There's 270 millilitres. I do like the little spray pump as well. So. I got that, some sun cream, Nivea sun cream. Got this one for Lee, doesn't need um, a factor of 50 like me and Toby. There is 200 mils in here, and I think this was like a fiver or five pound 50 or something. So that's for Lee. And then I got this um, little roll on thing. Cause you know, sometimes when you need, if you've got a little bag, you just chuck in some sun cream. And um, these are really handy, aren't they? And I think this was 1.99 actually, this little Calypso, kids disappearing coloured roll-on, um, 50, factor 50 again. So I got one of those to so just chuck in a bag for on the go and I got a lip balm as well. So this Calypso lip balm, um, this is factor 30 and yeah, just to shove on your lips so they don't burn. And I also got this um, Calypso once a day face serum. So this is 50 plus, so I need something a bit stronger on my face because I've got some like sun damage on my head so I don't want to get any more of that really. So I thought I'll get some really good face stuff and this looked really good. I have got another one that is quite similar, but I thought I would try this as well. Um, and it just says eight hours protection, lightweight formula, fast absorbing. And the other one I've got is quite um, lightweight as well. It's not a serum. So it'd be interesting to see how this is. It was 3 .99. And I use the, I've got the Calypso spray, you know, like for your scalp, the scalp spray, that's from Home Bargains. And that's really good. So I kind of make sure I've got everything covered because I burn really easily. I wear a hat as well, of course, and I sit in the shade, but just in case, I, I like to be prepared. Um, so this is the face serum. It'd actually probably be really nice. Let's have a little, I'll put a little bit on my hand and see. I do like the thought of it being a bit lightweight because there's nothing, you know, if you clog your pores up with sun cream, I can't get it out. Oh, there it is. Okay, when you, when you clog your pores up, you can get a bit, sort of get too heavy, doesn't it, and too thick. Um, so that feels really nice. I've just put a bit on my hand. Doesn't, oh, doesn't really, doesn't smell of anything. Doesn't smell, it just smells of, there's no scent, I don't think. Sensitive skin, so there's no scent. Uh, for some reason I thought, it just smells of um, cream, like, you know, lotion with no scent. That's what it, what it smells like. Um, but yeah, I'm sure that would be really nice. It feels nice and lightweight on my hand there. So that's got to be good, isn't it? Eight hours protection, lightweight formula, fast absorbing, water resistant for two times 20 minute swims. Good to know. So I've got some of that to take away with me. I've also got a few other things all for our holiday. Let me grab these. I got some plasters, which is always good to have, isn't it? Just to chuck them in your bag. And I think these were like, like 50p or 60p. 16 waterproof ones. I got a toothbrush for Toby because he always needs a new toothbrush um, when we go away on a holiday. So I just grabbed in that and I think it was like 99p. And then I got some of these um, bug spray things. I've got quite a lot left over actually that I haven't used. I bought some of the 
um, expel, you know, the big like spray, um, what are they? Just like, like, like this basically, but it's got the, um, you know, this mozzie spray in it and it's this make, but they didn't have it this time, but I have some left over. So I'm going to be taking that. And then I just got some of these pens because I use them in the evening. So I just chuck one in my bag because mosquitoes bite me quite a lot and Toby as well, actually. So I just spray this on my ankle and my arms, back to my arms and my ankles when I'm out or underneath my leg. Um, like a bottom of my thigh, if you know what I mean. Like if I'm sitting down, um, that's where they like to get me. So I have a little spray every like hour or so and it normally keeps them away. So you get two little um, ones in each pack and I think they were 99p. So yeah, 100 sprays in each. So I hope that would um, all do us when we're on the go, just to put in our bag, which is handy. And I might even have one left, up, left over for, a, um, you know, for the summer or something. And then I got some of these sanitary towels as well. These are probably the best value ones that I've seen. These are, I think they're like 59p each, but you buy two for a pound, which is really good, isn't it, for sanitary towels. So 50p each, there's 12 in this one. Ultra plus, ultra, ultra plus. And this is, what are you? Your ultra. How many did you get? Oh, here we go, 14. So some of those, 50p each, probably the best value products that I can find, sanitary like towely stuff. And um, I've got this, I did show you this a second ago, but I pretended it was bug spray. This is After Sun, and the make is this Bio Vila. It looks like a really sort of posh make. I have seen quite a lot in home bargains of this make, like of this make with different moisturizers and different things. Um, and it does look like it would be quite expensive, um, but everything's really reduced, isn't it? So this is $1.99. So that looks really good. So I can use this when we're away, bit of after sun, bit of moisturizer. And I got a couple of deodorants as well. I got some Mitchum deodorant. This is £1.75. I think it's really good actually, the Mitchum stuff. It lasts quite a while, doesn't it? And then I got some Right Guard XXL for Toby and Lee. I think this was a couple of quid as well for that deodorant. And I bought a shampoo and conditioner for our holiday as well. So these are £1.00. 49 each. Uh, this one is um, VO5 Give Me Moisture Conditioner infused with five vital oils. So 400 millilitres in each of these, £1.49. And yeah, that'll do us for our holiday. So I'll leave those there. And I saw this in Home Bargains the other day. So I thought I would get a couple of uh, packets of this. It's really good. This speedy Premier Play hard wearing grass seed mixture. And these were 3 99 each, which is a really good price, I think, for grass seed. So I grabbed two of those because we always need grass seed. Tony does um, plays football outside and there's always like patches of mud. So we always try and make it grow. Um, so yeah, we've got two packets of grass seed. And I got some Nurofen. I normally just go for normal ibuprofen, but this was... Um, it was 99p and I just thought, oh, I'll, I'll get some, treat myself to Nurofen. So there is, um, yeah, 12, no, eight capsules. So we'll take that on our holiday in case we need it. And I got some wax strips as well because I need to wax my moustache off before we go away. I've got to do that today before we go. And then maybe some hairs on the chin as well. I'll try and get them. And I think that was like 99p or £1.25. And I got this as well. So this is body, legs and arms wax strips. So they're slightly larger. There's 20 strips in there. And I also bought myself a fake tan mitt because when I go away, I fake tan. I know lots of other people just kind of tan in the sun, but I'm really pale and I've got so many um, moles that I, I worry. So I tend to stick in the shade with a hat on um, and, you know, I've got my factor 50 on. And then I'll have a little, you know, 10 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes in the, in the sort of afternoon. But I tend to keep out of the sun, really, unless unless you have to be in it. Um, and I fake tan, so I'll do like a one hour tan um, before we go out. That's what I normally do and I build up quite a nice colour. So I've got my fake tan upstairs that I'm going to be taken away, but I didn't have a tanning mitt. And I couldn't find one in Poundland, so I had to get this one and it was 2 99 which I think is quite a lot. I, don't, I haven't bought one in ages, but I feel like it should only have been about a pound, but it was 2 99 It was the only one they had, but it must be really good. It's a velvet tan, double-sided original tanning mitt. Um, yes, yeah, so I got that. I just, I do love the feeling when you fake tanned. Um, it gives you such a nice glow, doesn't it? It makes you feel so much better. So I shall be fake tanning while we're away. Oh, got some polos as well. Some polos. I think there is, there, how many in here? Oh, a five pack. Five packs of polos. I think these were £1.49. So they're just great for the aeroplane or, you know, just want a little sweet or something. I don't know what that was. That was me getting my bag and getting the polos. And then I got a few things for our holiday so I got some of these luggage tags they were 199 
um, for two. So we'll put these on our cases because sometimes you don't know which case is yours. Some of ours are bright yellow and then Lee's one is darker and I, it's like a black case and there's so many that look the same. So I think if we just put these on our cases then we'll definitely know there are. So I've got some pink ones and I've got some grey ones so we can use whatever ones we want but we shall look for them unless other people have got yellow cases and these from Home Bargains but I doubt it but you never know hopefully it'll all be fine and I got Lee and Toby an eye mask each for the flights because then they can have you know cover up their eyes and have a nice sleep so I think they're going to really like these actually I don't tend to wear them because I've got false eyelashes so they kind of stick to it and they they annoy me but um, I think Lee and Toby will like these they were I think these are one nine, $1 each it just says eye mask the travel shop and home bargains for comfortable travel and there's a little oh it's just stretchy at the back there so I got them one of these each and I'll just double check the price but I think or oh, were they $2.99 let's have a little look on here eye mask $1.99 so yeah really good a little mask each so they can have a snooze on the aeroplane so that is everything from home bargains i'm now going to show you oh actually i'll add i'll show you the plants that i bought the other day and my pot from tk maxx so i'll add that now and then i'll come back at the end and show you the other things i got from bnm i went to bnm this morning because my friend was after some plants and some bamboo hello rufus um, and i picked up these roses so i'm going to plant these at the front of our house with the one i got from poundland the other day and i got um it was three for 12 pounds so this is the queen elizabeth climbing rose and then i got iceberg white and roses bianco at the back there that's what it's called so three for 12 pounds for those um so i'm going to plant those today actually and then i got this beautiful garden pot from TK Maxx and it was 19.99. I love this shape so I've got a few out here actually um that was from a car boot sale that one it's really heavy I've got my receipt in there at the bottom it has got a hole in the bottom as well for drainage 19.99 the make is elite nature starts with you and it's just yeah it really suits the style of our house but that's everything from TK Maxx and B&M and I've now planted those roses so hopefully in a year or two we'll get some lovely flowers from them so they're at the front of our house um i think i planted five roses actually um at the front the poundland one is over on the right with one i had in the garden so i i put that in the ground as well so hopefully we'll get some nice roses at the front of our house which will look really pretty so yeah that was the um that was the plants and the oh look has that been there the whole time the shadow of me filming on my phone i haven't even noticed it that's like a, a proper Cam camcorder camera doesn't it but it's actually just my phone on the side um and then i bought that beautiful plant pot as well so i need to put something in that maybe something overflowing so it's gorgeous i feel like it should be on a table or something on a pedestal or on a plant table outside so that'll go somewhere it's really nice and kind of perfect for our house and our decor so i really like that and then the final things in my haul um are from b&m so i got these beautiful outdoor cushions and I really like them I think they're just really nice really simple um they say coastal life outdoor living they were only eight pounds each I just love this kind of the material and the simplicity of them with this natural stripe going through the cushion I think they're lovely and they look really expensive I think look like they'd be from a little designer shop or something I think they're really nice so I've got two of those so they'll look great outdoors um really lovely and they had loads of really nice things actually for for gardens um cushions and picnic stuff and all sorts of b&m so there was loads to choose from but i just got these and the plants so eight pounds each my outdoor cushions and that's the back so just kind of a natural natural cotton really but i think they're lovely these cushions and that is everything that is the end of this haul so i really hope you enjoyed it and like seeing everything from home bargains b&m and TK Maxx. If you had a favourite, let me know, pop it in the comments. I think my favourites are probably this little cute Easter basket, I think it's gorgeous, and the cushions and the roses, and I think maybe that's it. Oh, well, no, I know, the thing I love the most, I think. Where's it gone? Oh, it's in here. Mini eggs. I love that. So let me know your favourite item, add it to the comments below, and I shall be back from my holidays in a few weeks. So probably I'll let you know on Instagram, but it will probably be two weeks, whatever it is, to the Friday. So if we're back in time for a Friday video, 
I'll put one on, but it's probably, it's going to be two to three weeks, I think. So I will be back, but it, there's just going to be a little break. So I really hope that's okay. Um, thank you so much for watching. Come over to Instagram as well. If you're on Instagram, I'm Kate McKay, but my house account is Kate's Georgian Home. I'll link those below in case you need to go and follow me on there. Not need to if you want to. Um, and I'll also link the, my recent videos that I filmed as well in the description box. But thank you so much for watching and have a lovely couple of weeks. Um, I'm really looking forward to going to Thailand again and seeing some different places and seeing our friends. So really looking forward to it. And I shall do some vlogs when I'm there. So there'll probably be, yes, yeah, so when I get back, I'll have a couple of Thailand vlogs. So I look forward to showing you around the parts of Thailand we go to. But thanks for watching. Have a great couple of weeks. Happy Easter. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.